on everybody thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about justice league so once again a big thank you to all of you who went to my instagram story poll and voted for this as my next review i do appreciate it i really appreciate all of you who are part of that and thank you for voting there will be more of those polls in the future so if you're not already following me on instagram follow the link in my description box and uh yeah i'll have more story polls soon so Justice League, this will now wrap up my DCEU reviews until obviously the new ones come out like Wonder Woman and the upcoming Suicide Squad by James Gunn. I'm really excited for those films, but this right here will be the final review in the DCEU that I need to do to cap off all of those reviews in full on this channel. So Justice League, this is a film that I think can be viewed in a disappointing light by many and uh, you know, there's definitely reasons for that, but I think this is a movie that gets a lot more hate than it really deserves. This is a film that I actually really enjoy I throw it on from time to time it's got a lot of really great action I'll get onto all the reasons that I really enjoy it and some things that I don't like as much about it but what I could say right out of the gate as far as my main thought on this movie is that I think it's a good time I think if you are a fan of comic book movies and just comic books in general this film has a lot to offer you and I think that it's just a solid installment into the DCEU is it what it could have been no but I think this is a really good movie for what it is I really do enjoy it and uh, let's get a little deeper into it so this film stars Henry Cavill as Superman Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, uh, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, and Ezra Miller as The Flash, and this is the first ever live-action Justice League film, and I remember just waiting for this day, like even since I was a kid, me and my dad would go back and forth if we were ever going to get a Justice League film uh, back in the Dark Knight days, and we really didn't ever think about it happening. We always wanted it to, but it just seemed like something that was just never going to happen, but then when the Avengers came out and all of that was really building up and the MCU was really doing an amazing job of setting up this, this big connective universe. And, and showing it to us in a way that we'd never seen films do before. Uh, yeah, the, the, the hope came back and we, I always hoped and prayed for a Justice League film. I know me and my dad, like I said, we talked about that all the time in my upbringing. It was just a huge part of our conversation of future films that we always hoped for and dreamed for. And we finally got a Justice League film. And do I like this movie? Like I mentioned, yes. I think it's really good and I think that it's, it has a lot of fun elements to it and it feels a lot to me like the animated DC films, you know, where they kind of expect that you know a lot that's already happened in the DC world. They kind of expect that you know these characters and they don't really set up this film like they would a lot of other live action films where, you know, you have casual moviegoers and you kind of have to set things up, explain things a little bit more, you know, not necessarily full exposition, but, you know, lay it out a little bit better for the casual moviegoer. And what I think that the DC animated films do really well is that they service the fans and though they are easily accessible and something you can just kind of step into uh, what they do really really well for me is it always just felt like hey I know these characters I know these worlds I know these situations here's these great animated films that are just you know here you go you know these characters this is going to be a story that you're able to follow along with and enjoy and i think that this film is great when you look at it through those lenses uh you know it just feels like one of those animated films that where it expects that you already know these characters especially the ones who didn't have their own solo films up to this point and you know they just kind of expect hey you're just gonna you'll you'll have a good time with this if you enjoy these characters and viewing it that way i can definitely say i really enjoy this film i think it has a lot of fun i think it has a lot of really great action the special effects are it, it's it's very cg heavy but i I really enjoy it the villain Stefan Wolf is very CG heavy but that never really takes away from the film for me too too much unless it's just terrible terrible CGI and even then if it fits the tone of the film or the visual feel of the film it usually doesn't take it away from me too too much and what I can say right out of the gate is that I really do enjoy the visuals of this movie some of the CG you know mixed with practical and the action all that kind of stuff I think it's really just over the top fun comic book stuff and it feels a lot like like I said the animated films or even the comic books that I grew up reading now what I can say right out of the gate is that a big issue I think we all have and you know including myself is comparing this film and this these sets of films to what Marvel has done you know they did it so so well and you know that lead up to the Avengers after having seen majority of the Avengers characters having their own films was was exciting because you got to see them all these characters that you had watched in their separate films come together in a way that we had never seen before and it just created this super epic and amazing just emotional feeling you know there's that great circle shot where they're all standing together at the Battle of New York at the end of, uh, of the first Avengers film and you are just pumped for it you were just excited for it your body's ready your soul's ready and it, it's it's just exciting it's full-on excitement and I, I think that where they missed the mark with this film is it feels like very much like DC and Warner Brothers 
were rushing, you know, that they were rushing to get to the Justice League product without building up to it. And, and you know, coming just coming to realize that, hey, people are going to go see these films anyway because they love these characters. And since comic book films are so beloved and exciting and, and you know, such a, a big thing for casual moviegoers nowadays as well, it's something that is already going to draw people in, you know, and we've seen that with the success of, of Wonder Woman and now especially Aquaman, you know, Shazam did pretty well too, and Batman vs Superman did well, and I, I, I believe so, but I know Justice League didn't do as well, and at this point they had already put out some lackluster products and some films that weren't really resonating with a lot of people, like Suicide Squad and all that stuff. I really do believe that this film is a solid good time, I think that they rushed to get here, and I think because of that they weren't really able to build up the emotion, the excitement, and let it really resonate with fans as they were seeing their favorite characters brought together the same way that of the Avengers did and I don't say that they have to do it the exact same way and I'm trying not to compare it and I definitely am not going to compare but I think for just a, if you you have to kind of look at it in the same in the sense that it's like hey you have this set of characters that it's a team and what really made the Avengers so powerful outside of the movie itself being exciting fun and very well written was the fact that you have these characters that have built up in other films coming together in a way we had never seen before and now DC got to watch that happen you got to watch somebody else do it and I really believe that if they would have given at least most if not all of the Justice League members a solo film or some really big on-screen time prior to this film we would have all been a little bit more emotionally connected to watching this film because then you have all these other films that when the Justice League comes out, people are like, hey, you know, I didn't see that one solo film, but I really like this other solo film, and even really that other solo film, and now they're all gonna come together, maybe I should go watch those. But you really didn't have that, and it didn't really build up to the same level of excitement. Though, I've loved Aquaman, I loved Wonder Woman, I really enjoy Man of Steel, I like Suicide Squad like I talked in my review, I don't think it's nearly as bad as people make it out to be. Is it the greatest story-wise? No, but I think it has some really great character elements. And with Justice League, I think the story just feels rushed, it feels like, again, and this climax just didn't feel deserved or earned. However, in the context of the universe and these characters and the story, I think it's fun. I think, again, it feels a lot like one of the D DC animated films and like the comic books. There's a lot of really great comic book action and quips and funny little moments. And the, the costume design is great. The CG is really well done, in my opinion. And the cinematography is pretty solid, too. This is definitely the, one of the most different ones as far as the films they had released up to this point. It doesn't feel as gritty. feels a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more fun. And I really enjoy that. I'm glad they went with that approach. And I, and I really do have a good time with this film. As for negatives, I really do believe it kind of just leans into the overall negatives that this franchise has had, which is rushed. There are a few moments that feel rushed and skimmed over. There's kind of characters that are just kind of there. You kind of just have to accept their origins that they kind of just spew out in exposition every here and there. For example, there's a scene between The Flash and Cyborg where The Flash looks at Cyborg and essentially goes, where are the accidents, right? And of course, if you're a comic book fan like me, and you know these storylines from the comics or from the various animated films or series that have expanded on that, you know the general idea. You can fill the gaps in your mind. So for me, I'm able to benefit from that, whereas I know a lot of other people may not be able to benefit from it as much as I was. And, you know, it may kind of take some people out of the experience or feel a little disconnected to those characters and their prior events because you really don't know what happened. Oh, they had an accident. You know what I mean? I'm just, and I'm thinking about the casual goer, the casual movie goer who really doesn't know too much about the Flash, it really doesn't know too much about Cyborg, you know, be able to be like, all right, cool, they had an accident, and now they have powers, and now they do what they do, and, you know, I think that from a storytelling perspective, I think they just missed the mark on really being able to flesh these characters out and build it out, and especially in a film it's it, that's a team film, you know, you have a few characters who have had their own films, or at least had more screen time, and then you know, have all these other characters who have had little cameos or little build-ups to this point, but really didn't have the opportunity to shine and be their own character prior to this, so when you're trying to set up these characters for the first time, for their first real on-screen performances and, and moments, while also building a team and building a story under it and trying to further the universe. It does get a little bit cluttered. It does get a little bit, you know, hectic. And I think that that's kind of why people struggle to connect with it. But I do believe this film has a lot of eye candy. I think it's a lot of fun to watch. I think it has a lot of really great action. The performances, I think, are really solid. Nobody gives a bad performance in this film for me. I think, like I said, that it's just a fun movie to watch. Is it the most deep and most profound and exciting comic book movie of all time? No, but I think that if you sit down and you watch it as a fan of comic book movies, as a fan of DC films, that you can have a good time with it. Again, I think it's just a matter of what lens you look at it from. And I think it's hard when 
Marvel has set this precedent that's just, you know, they, they have set this, this bar that is so high with the way that they've chosen to put their films together and the way that they've chosen to build up to things, you know? It, no matter what happens, whenever, at this point, whenever we see those characters all together, whether it's an Avengers film, whether it's, it's something like Civil War, you know, it's just... It's, you're excited at this point. You are just built up. You feel the connection. You feel that chemistry, and they earned it. You know, when you see Hulk and Thor together in this, you know, space buddy adventure in Thor Ragnarok, you feel like it's earned. They don't have to sit there and re-explain to you and build these versions of these characters up anymore because you feel like all of that, their ability to tell you stories like that and get all crazy and wacky was earned. And I think that with the Justice League, Again, it was just a matter of them just rushing to this film a little too quickly for me. And I think that's where it really, really fails. And I think some of the story beats can feel that way. And it's just hard to really connect to all these characters that they're setting up in this film. Another thing that's always really bothered me is this film is literally like right under two hours. Like I want to say maybe... I think it's like an hour and 59 minutes. Like, I think it's like directly under two hours. And I, be I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Warner Brothers wanted them to make the film right under two hours. And that just makes no sense to me. The Justice League is the kind of franchise or a type of, you know, story that should be told with a nice, long, epic runtime. You know what I mean? The two hours was just not enough time for them to really flesh out the story they wanted to flesh out in this film. So, you know, and everything that they've come out with as far as, like, you know, news articles and just rumors about how Warner Brothers has handled the DCEU. It's clear that they just really had their hands in the pot, too many hands in the pot, and it, it just made for a cluttered mess a little bit with this film narratively. But I do think it's a good time. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be where I end my review. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about this movie down below. I know it disappointed many, so I'm very curious to see uh, if it disappointed you. What you know, what disappointed you about it? Do you still enjoy it for what it is, or, or are you comparing it to Marvel? All those things. I'm very curious. Let me know down below. I, I really do believe this film could have been a lot stronger had they built up to it and let everybody have their own film. Because now after seeing Aquaman and seeing Wonder Woman, even though Wonder Woman came out before Justice League, had they given these characters their own solo films all leading up to it, I think it could have just been so much stronger. And you guys heard my review on Batman vs Superman. I also felt that film was just very cluttered and just very messy at times though i still enjoy a lot about it and i think that's the big struggle is that i have a, such a deep profound love for comic books and these characters and these stories and i've seen so many cartoons that are so cheesy and so over the top and so wacky and i've always been able to accept those and love those so why not be able to accept them when they're live action and so that's why i really do still choose to enjoy these films and have a great time with them because in the end of the day you know they're really beautiful looking films and there was a lot of time and effort and and passion put into them it's just a matter of how they're put together not everybody has every Say, not everybody can make the movie themselves they can just be a part of it and I think when it comes to costume design CGI performances all those different things that make the film all together I think this film has a lot of really great pieces and a lot of really fun elements to watch and I think it's a great entertaining popcorn flick that you can just chill back with and have a good time kind of throw it on when you're doing something like laundry or whatever or just hanging out in bed so yeah guys that's gonna be my review thank you so much like I said let me know your thoughts down below on this film I'm very very curious thank you guys again for watching make sure you guys hit that description box and go down down and check out my Instagram so you guys can be a part of the next Instagram poll. I will probably be uh, doing a poll not too long after uploading this, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I really would appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to subscribe so you can be notified when my next videos are coming. I would really appreciate you guys joining me on this ride of more reviews and more videos on this channel. There's a lot more to come. Thank you guys again. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>